Welcome to the administration and support segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application. Though not directly part of creating an application, managing user access and reporting are important to the day-to-day -day operation of an application and cloud. Looking at the cloud management GUI, we'll click on the Reports tab. On the right of the page, we can view billing reports and administrator logs of actions on the cloud. Both of these are useful to monitor cloud resource usage and to monitor user activity. Clicking on Current Billing Period shows the current resource usage. This and a more detailed report may be exported to CSV format, suitable for import into Excel or other spreadsheet by clicking on the blue Summary or Detailed links. The Administrator Log link exports a CSV format file based on the start and end date for the report. Simply enter the dates and click Download. Here is a sample screenshot of the log data imported into Excel. As we can see, all activity relating to the cloud GUI and API usage may be audited. Clicking on the Account tab brings up the Account Management page. From here you may update information on the top-level account and create additional accounts to delegate to others in your organization. Clicking on Manage Users brings up a list of users on the cloud. To add a user, simply click Add User. Fill in the required information form and then delegate roles to the new user to allow them access only to the parts of the cloud they need. By default, with no roles selected, the user may log into the management GUI or through the Cisco AnyConnect VPN and view configuration data relating to the account, but they have no ability to create or modify any resources. Checking network allows network creation and managed network functionality. Checking server allows the user to deploy and manage servers. With the addition of the Create Image role, the user may clone servers and remove servers from the customer image inventory. Additionally, the user will be able to import and export server images. Files role allows the user to manage the OpSource Cloud Files product. And finally, Checking on Reports allows the user to view and or export billing and administrator log reports. Through the use of these roles, a client may delegate responsibilities to various members of the organization. A user may be assigned no roles, one role, or multiple roles. Optionally, we can supply a department ID and two customer-defined fields for holding custom information on that user. This allows the administrator to track billing for each resource back to the department in the billing report. Clicking Save saves these settings for the user. Billing information may be managed with the Manage Billing Account link, and pricing structure may be reviewed from the My Pricing Plan link. And finally, let's take a look at the OpSource Cloud Community Support feature. Obtaining support for the OpSource Cloud may be received by selecting the Support tab. Community-based support forums and documentation provide a wealth of information on how to use the various aspects of the OpSource Cloud and resolve issues if they arise. Submitting questions to the support forums will generate assistance from both OpSource support staff as well as other OpSource Cloud users. While we encourage the use of the forum, it's important to note that 24 by 7 phone support is also included as a standard feature with the OpSource Cloud. This concludes the administration and support segment of building a multi-tiered cloud application.